please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Good day, everybody. This is Face TV Africa. Um, the election of the 2023 has been causing a lot of problems in the country and a lot of people have been protesting, a lot of people have been issued statements like Olushe Gumabasunjo and some other leaders in the country. The Labour Party and the PDP, they are, you know, addressing the, the press just to see their own opinion about the 2023 election. Everybody has been saying a lot of things about but um, the youth are now in front of INET office in Abuja now, protesting and be saying they have to cancel that election. So um, I want you to hear what they have to say because this thing has been happening in Abin Portacot too. A lot has been happening in Imo. So um, I want you to hear what they want to say about this general election. Can you respect your right, please? Okay, we'll keep moving. Okay, thank you. Keep, keep, keep. Okay, the dialogue with the dialogue. So, what do you have to do? Can you give me your right? It has to be what? It has to be. The only way anybody will trust the credibility of the results being announced is that the simple process promised to the Nigerian people, paid for by the Nigerian people, is followed. That's all we're asking. Nobody is asking anybody to manipulate results on behalf of anybody. We're saying we campaign for a presidential candidate. We voted for a presidential candidate. If our presidential candidate loses, let him lose in an open, honest contest. That's very simple. If our presidential candidate wins, like we believe he will win, let him win in an open, transparent contest. Very simple. Nobody is saying anything different. Play, this, is play, not, play, play. this is not an attempt to subvert the process. We're insisting your process follow it. We weren't the ones who designed the process. We weren't the ones who contracted out the process. We're just saying drive follow us, uh, the process. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Well, did you come into this election with more trust in the process and now that's completely been shattered or were you doubtful to begin with? We saw, we saw this process implemented in Anambra. Nobody contested the results. We saw this process implemented in equity. By the next day, everybody knew who was winning and who was losing. Yeah. We saw this contest implemented in Oshun. Okay, yeah. we knew. And we knew where the stress points for the elections were. Very simple thing. The process is not being followed. Thank you, James. That's, that's, where, the, that's where the issue is. I would like to speak. I would like to speak. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just how did your English? Okay, can you... Let's, let's get this. We like to speak. I will send it to you absolutely. And, and when I refer to you, do I call you Elenuna? How we like to speak? Just one party you representing? Just 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 Okay, can we? Can we roll? New Centra. Can we? Two of you talk. Please, can we? Are I five sets? Yeah, one minute. Okay. Now, now you are staging a protest here. Yeah. Specifically, tell us your demands. The, it's very simple. And it's not something that ought to cause much fight or create any tension. It's very simple, very straightforward. We were told a process was there, had been instituted for the election. This process had been used previously. It had been used in elections in three states, three out of cycle elections. And we were told it was going to work for the presidential election. What is the process? On election day, go to your polling unit, you get accredited using BVAS, you will cast your ballot. After you cast your ballot, election results will be um, counted and will be transmitted directly from the polling unit to a central server. Right? That is not what is happening. We are now seeing manually collated results. Today. After four days, we have not seen the results being uploaded on INEC server. Instead, INEC is already announcing results. Instead, INEC is already announcing results. And the results that INEC is announcing are at variance with what was collated. What we saw at the polling units. 
what we are saying is, INEC, there was a process you promised the Nigerian people. There was a process the Nigerian people paid for. The Nigerian people paid for it to the tune of more than 300 billion naira. Follow the process. Follow the process. If you are saying that this party is losing and this party is winning, show the process. What we are seeing now is a manual collation, manual transmission, and so on of the results. We were promised, according to the Electoral Act and according to INI guidelines, that there will be an ele electronic transmission of results. Why is that process not being followed? Once you don't follow that process, you are robbing us of trust in the process, you are robbing the process of its integrity, and you are, the opacity is what Nigerians have suffered in the past that leads, that leads to the theft of elections, that leads to rigging of elections, that leads to a manipulation of the electoral process. I was saying something very simple. Follow your process. Are, Very simple. are you representing any party in particular? I don't and have to be representing a state, political party. Um, um, while I'm, you're actually going while I'm a member of the of a political party, while I'm a member of a political party, I'm standing here as a Nigerian citizen yes. who yes. on Saturday woke up, went to a polling unit, was accredited, voted, saw my results, and then I'm not seeing my results being uploaded to the INEC server the way they promised. It doesn't have anything to do with my political affiliation. It doesn't matter. My political doesn't matter. It's not important. It's not important. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what what will happen now if INEC does not con um, contend to what you what you're asking for? That, that means they've de they've deprived the process of its integrity. If INEC goes on and announces this way, and and puts a, a if INEC goes on and announces the results this way and completes it, what it has done is that it is telling us this process is not transparent. Yes. Yes. INEC yes. promised yes. Barista Festus Okoye of INEC 118 times, 118 times promised that they will follow this process, that Beaver's results will be uploaded up to the INEC server. 118 times. Why has it not been done? 118 times. The INEC chairman, 58 times including a recording on my phone right now promise that the, even at Chatham House a few days before the election promise that we will use Beaver's results Beaver's results will be uploaded why? I'm not here accusing the INEC chairman of rigging the election we have not done that we are saying you promised us a process and your refusal to abide by the process puts a question mark on the integrity of the results that's all why are you going manual? I don't represent a group. My name is Ilemona Onoja. I'm a member of a political party, but I'm not here in my capacity yeah, as a yes. political party. We are representing yeah, yeah, yeah. party. Yeah. I'm a me we are, there are members of other political parties here. Yeah, yes, we are up. So it is not a party thing. As you can see, a lot of people are gathered here, demanding that INEC follows the due process Join it has promised. The protesters demanding the Okay. For the very first time on Saturday, 25th of February, during the election, I saw a 50-something-year-old man in mass to exercise his franchise. He had not voted before. He didn't even know how he should complete or what he should do. Imagine a man of 50-something-year-old in a country and for since he has been 18 years old, he has not even voted for once. For the very first time in Nigeria, we had hope. We don't even care what has been happening for the past eight years or what suffering we've been going through. That we cannot, we cannot have access to our rights, our money, mm. food, yes. food. People are dying of starvation. Okay. People are extremely frustrated. Mm. People are jackpotting from this country. They are leaving this country on a daily basis. We don't care about that. But yet, we've held on onto hope against 25th of February. And now, today, being almost three days after election, we are yet to know the results. 
of who the who the youth who everybody has voted for why why is that so i need Gemma, why are you trying to kill the hope of the youth why we don't have any other thing to hold on to in this country except hope there is nothing to hold on to nothing is happening nothing is working in. nothing is working and that is the only thing we've heard of you promised that the election will be transparent after uploading results I mean, I've many, I've, a few hours after uploading results the result was uh, was, was, was deleted why is that transparency at all even this time around is even worse than before than the analog uh, age is worse we were hoping that these beavers will give us we, we, we give us the, the accurate results and give us who we have voted for. Mm, we give yes. us our our the people's choice. Yes. We give no, us no, the president of the people's choice. Yes. But that is not what we are saying. Mm. It is so clear that nothing is happening. Mm. That we are not. That will not be what we, what we expect. It is not. For, I don't want to accuse anybody of rigging. But from my own opinion, that is what it seems to be happening right now. Why? Please. The, it, it's presidency. Our president should call and get chairman. Our president, with all due respect, sir, I don't care how you emerge. I don't care what has been happening in this country for the past eight years. But please, your legacy should not be tarnished. Don't right. allow your legacy to just be drained into the, the, the gutter like that. Call the INEC chairman into the place. Yeah. Call him, let him do the needful. Yes. He should do the needful well, because well, there is rage. The youth are hungry. It's either the beaver is being used. Or the election be make an alternative for the beavers to be recognized. Because the main thing we had, the hope we had was that the beavers were accounted for our vote. And we promised the masses during our sensitization, go out and vote. I sacrificed the whole of government educating BM Nigerians on how to go ahead and vote. But only for today, I have I was confronted. We will never vote. This will not happen in this country again. We have endured. We are not violent to you. We are for peace. Let the beavers and let the result that was uploaded in INEC result be used. Please let it be used. It. However, INEC, we reconnect to that result. We have the result. They should go ahead and upload that result. The beavers are not, they don't fail. During orientation, they told us that beaver is 100% efficient. Now, where is the efficiency? How do we get the accuracy where the beavers itself cannot be accounted for? Yes. Honestly, Nigerians, it is time for us to get our result. Yes. Mr. President, just as my, my fellow woman have spoken mr president we have tolerated and we have come in peace let the beaver be put in use now the result that has been announced let it be correct imagine result will be called and it's not according to the accredited voters election we read was tag 20th february and we went to our various polling units on the 25th of february for cry out loud we 25th february and we are gotten result of 20th February. Mm. Please, Mr. President, the Nigerian youth that have voted you in one way or the yes. other, do not disappoint us. Yes. Do not bring us into areas that you see that we are violent, we are peace-loving youth. We love you and we are working for the peace and the growth, development of this country. To this extent, bring, uh, bring back our mandates. Deliver it via that beaver's result. So our love will continue. My name is Barista Lillian Kuza. Thank you. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Muswobi.